Are you mad at Mama? Look at me. You know you'll always be my favorite. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back to day six of Happy Holidays 2021. My name is Lori. If you are new here, welcome. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and on eBay and I share my journey here on YouTube. For the first 10 days of December, I have been sharing with you a haul every day. Today's haul, I am sharing 25 of my favorite things. I have different categories that I'm pulling from. Some are health and beauty, some are planning, thrifted items, luxe items, tech items. I kind of threw a bunch of things in here, but these are all items that truly make my life a happier place that I wanted to share with you. I do want to say that there are some affiliate links that I will share. So just to be upfront with you, some of the links that I'm sharing, I will receive a small kickback from. Some of the links will also provide you with a discount if you're interested in purchasing the items. Today's sponsor would definitely make my list for favorite things, and that is Vendu. Vendu is a cross-listing service. I'm going to talk a little bit more about them later in the video, but I thought that this was the perfect video to share my love for Vendu. The first category I want to chat about is beauty. I have occasionally been asked what type of lipstick I am wearing. I think that's the question I get asked the most. Um, and I wear two lipsticks for the most part, all the time. So when I want a little extra color, I like to wear this MAC lipstick. And this is number 513 Midi Mauve Luster. This, um, I've broken the tip on this, but this is the color. And it is really pretty, definitely like that mauve -y shade, but I love it. And I would say that both of these lipsticks have a real creamy base because my lips get really dry. So I try to choose lipsticks that don't dry out my lips further. This is even creamier, and this is the nicest lipstick I have ever owned, and I did splurge on this, but this is Chanel, and this is number 54, Boy. This is a much more neutral color. See, now I'll just mix them. <laughs> When you put this lipstick on, it almost feels like you are putting on like a lip gloss. It's so creamy and I love this color, but it's very neutral. I feel like this looks a little better on me when I have lip liner on, which I just, I wore lip liner so much in the 90s and the early 2000s, but I've kind of abandoned my lip liner. I bought it when I was in Boston over the summer for my anniversary and we went into Saks Fifth Avenue and I splurged and bought this. But yeah, I love these two lipsticks. Moving on to serum. I feel like with every passing day, I am seeing more wrinkles and I'm getting paranoid as I am fast approaching 50. Next year, I might be sharing with you the phone number of my local Botox spa, but I'm not there yet. So I'm holding on and trying to do my best um, in a more natural way. But these are the two serums that I use. This is by far my favorite. It's Aveda Tulasara Firm. Um, I love the serum and uh, if you're an Aveda person, you will love the smell of this. I love it so much. This I believe is $60. I buy three of these every year on Black Friday. I started with one, then the following year I did two. The past two years I bought three on Black Friday because they always offer 20 or 25% off. You get a gift with purchase, you get points. So I buy them all at once and then they last me a good amount of time. When I run out of that or when I'm trying to ration that a little bit, my daughter told me about this brand called The Ordinary. I don't follow a lot of beauty accounts on YouTube, but I think this is pretty widely known. I wanna say this is $6. $7 and it actually works really well. It just doesn't have the smell of this. And this also has like more firming agents than this does. Sometimes I'll alternate my serums um, or when I run out of this, like in September, October, when I've used up my three bottles, I switch to the ordinary until Black Friday. Cause you know, I'm a bargain hunter after all. Next up is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, Gel Cream Extra Dry moisturizer. This I love so much. And my my friends Hope and Courtney, who are both on YouTube, Hope is Racks to Riches and Courtney is Common Tags. They both told me about this. They both use this product and it's affordable. It's under $20. You can get it on sale for $15 and it is really, really a deep moisturizer. So this is a great product. 
and I think it's budget friendly. And this is like my second or third bottle. Sometimes you can get them in multi-packs on Amazon and whatnot, but highly recommend that. I had to mention this because CeraVe is in every bathroom in my house. My kids use it, I use it, it's tried and true. My kids like the foaming facial cleanser and I like the hydrating facial cleanser because my skin tends to run more dry. Affordable, dermatologists love it. I have spent a lot of money on a lot of expensive cleansers and I absolutely love my CeraVe. CeraVe, CeraVe, you guys will love it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about splurges. Um, I really could not do this video without mentioning my new Louis Vuitton GM planner. Every day I look at it, it makes me happy. It's just so nice to be able to appreciate a luxe item on a daily basis in front of me. It's tricky to get your hands on it. It is all over the pre-loved market, but they can be kind of expensive. This is the larger one. I think they just bumped their prices up to 880. When I got it, it was 800. Anyways, I really love this. I use it every single day. It just sits on my desk. I do have a video coming out about how I use my planners. That will be later in the series. After talking about Louis Vuitton, um, I also own the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, but I didn't want to feature that in this video because I have to say that the Coach Cassie bag is so similar in size to the Pochette Matisse and it's so much more affordable. And I actually prefer to use this for day-to-day -day stuff. The leather is really sturdy. And what I love most about this over the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse is that the Louis bag has a zipper back here and this is just an open pouch. So for someone like me who is constantly thrifting, I'm always checking comps, I'm always taking my phone out, I love being able to just slip this in while I'm shopping. I almost never have to go into the front part, which is just a turnkey and you open it up. I, I have like filling in here right now because I, I have been using my Pochette Matisse. It's sold out on the Coach website, but there are a ton of these on the pre-loved market and their prices range from like $150 to $700, depending on the size and the style that you want. Um, this is just such a practical bag. You can also just use it as a top handle and remove the strap and the crossbody. I always keep the crossbody on. It's a great practical bag. I'm so glad I got the black. Goes with everything. I bring it everywhere with me. I do baby my Louis Vuitton bag because it's much more expensive. I don't know if this is a design that they've discontinued or they're just sold out right now. Um, I actually found out about this bag by watching another YouTuber and I happened to hit a sale at Coach and now they've, they've just been kind of hard to get on the Coach website, but they're a gorgeous bag and practical, a little bit luxurious and like the perfect size in my opinion. Next up, I wanted to share my Melissa riding boots made by Fry. And these fry boots have gotten so much use. Sometimes you spend a lot of money on an item and then it sits and you, you wonder if it was really worth it. I bought these Melissa boots for full retail probably five years ago. It was an investment. They were still upwards of 400 when I purchased them. Now you can get a really good deal on Melissa boots. I have sold them a couple times in my Poshmark closet. I feel like the price of these has come down from when I purchased them. I wear them with jeans. I wear them with black leggings in like a black sweater all the time. I just reach for these boots constantly. When I first bought them, I sized up and I purchased a nine because I run between eight and a half and nine and I ended up having to exchange them and get the eight and a half. So these also have the wider calf uh, and they are just the best. I love these so much. I will try to link some pre-owned stuff as well as new Melissa Fry boots for you in the description. For those of you who don't watch my channel, you're gonna think this next one is a little bit weird for an adult to share with you, but I just wanted to share this um, American Girl doll who I recently purchased. Her, her backdrop story is that she upcycles clothing and she's a thrifter and she finds like her grandmother's vintage clothes in the attic and it prompts like this uh, explore this exploration of her family background. I recognize that most people buy dolls for their children, um, but I worked at American Girl for almost 10 years and I have a love for the company. And I think this is going to be like one of the last dolls I buy. She is adorable. She is a new doll. She's not the girl of the year. Her name is Yvette 
and I just love her storyline and just since this is going out around the holidays it was such a special time for me when I worked at American Girl and for young girls who are into dolls getting their first American Girl doll is like such an iconic moment that I just wanted to give her a little spotlight in my favorite things. I think she was $110 and then I got her accessories separately but she has this beautiful curly hair. She's a biracial doll which I love about her story and she has my favorite face mold which is the Josefina face mold for any like American girl people and I just wanted to give her a moment in this video. I'm thinking about keeping her in my office and she's like a little thrifting girl. I wish I could say that she was thrifted but she was not. I recently purchased these Rothy shoes I think these are a newer style for Rothy's. These are the driving loafers. I love this pattern. It is like a little animal print. I love animal print. Um, and these are two of my favorite colors, black and brown. So these look really good with jeans. They look really cute with black leggings. I had ordered a pair of Birkenstocks that had um, the, the Sherpa liner suede ones and I was obsessing over them. Then I got them in the mail and they were very narrow, I think because of the Sherpa on the inside. I felt like I wanted to get a pair of shoes that were a little bit more professional than Birkenstocks. I live in my Birkenstocks all summer. And so when I returned those, I thought to myself, do I want to get the next size up or a different style of Birkenstocks or would I rather take that money and get something that's a little more practical, a little bit more professional. And that's what I opted to do. And I'm really happy that I did. These are very comfortable. They're super cute. I love the color of them. And this definitely earned its spot in my favorite things for the splurge category. This is one of the items that I do have an affiliate link for. You will save $20 on your first pair of Rothy's if you use the link in the description. I wanna talk briefly about Vendu, today's sponsor. Vendu is a cross-posting service that has honestly just completely enhanced my experience as a reseller. eBay is a platform that I know I need to list on, but my default is to always list with Poshmark because it's easier to do a Poshmark listing. eBay is a more complex platform. You also reach millions more people on eBay. And so I realize that I am crazy to not be cross posting. It's an effort for me though. My instinct is to list on Poshmark and call it a day. Without Vendu, there is no way I would be cross posting. The last time I checked my 90 day total on eBay was $2,500. Now that may not seem like a lot of money to some of you. To some of you, it may seem like a lot. I do about 5,000 to 6,000 in sales a month on Poshmark. And that's in one month and we're talking three months on ebay twenty five hundred dollars so i do like five times the business on poshmark than i do on ebay but my point is that number would be zero without vendu i draft all of my items in vendu and then i have the capability to cross post to i believe eight or nine different platforms they have tradesy mercari ebay etsy poshmark facebook marketplace debop Kittison and Grail. There's a sliding scale for price based on how many listings you want. They have a delist relist feature. You can do five listings a month for free if you just want to try it out. I do have a link at the top of my description before all of the other items for today. You will receive 25% off your first month of service. I'm just looking on Google. eBay has approximately 159 million users. Poshmark as of 2019 they reported that they have 60 million users. So we're talking about 99 million more users on eBay. And you also have the ability to ship overseas through their international program. I know for me moving forward, I need to make eBay more and more a part of what I do and Vendu makes it happen. So that's all. Check out the link in my description. You won't be sorry. Okay, the next section that I wanna talk about is reseller related tools or tech tools. Some of these overlapped a little bit, like things that I use for my reselling business also happen to be technology. So I'm gonna go through this section pretty quickly. I'm not gonna go into detail on a lot of these things because I have done detailed videos on my reseller favorite tools and stuff like that. I think it's well covered territory. These are also questions that I get asked very frequently. So one of the main questions I get is, um, what, what lighting do you use? Do you use a steamer? 
and um, what is your favorite printer? Those are the three questions I think I get the most. I do use the Jiffy Steamer. I bought it in August of 2018 when I started my business. It is an investment. It is still going strong. I use tap water in it, which you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to use distilled water, and we have a lot of iron in our water, so I get a lot of buildup around it, um, but like I've cleaned it with baking soda before, and it comes clean, and I guess what I'm trying to say is I've abused this machine and it's still going really strong three and a half years later. It is like industrial strength in my opinion and um, it was one of the best investments I ever made for my business. The tank is large so it holds a lot of water. Some of my friends um, who have smaller steaming units um, they have to refill the water all the time. That's one of the complaints they have and mine really holds a lot. I get a lot of steaming in. I probably change the water once a week which is probably also why I get build up. That's one of the best investments I ever made for my reselling business. I I also have two ring lights that I use. One, which is lighting up this very dark room right now and not doing the best job. It's a smaller ring light that has like a, a little arm in it that holds a cell phone. I wish I had gotten two larger ones. My larger ring light I keep in the basement. Occasionally I'll bring it up to film, but if you watch my videos um, when I do hauls in the basement, the lighting is so much better than when I'm up here. I have lots of windows in my office and so I am subject to whatever the weather is outside. Like when I started this video, it was a little brighter outside. It's actually only 12.23 in the afternoon, but it's super dark out right now and that affects my lighting here in the office. On the flip side, sometimes around noon, it's super bright in here and I'm unable to film. So I really like my large ring light. I think it's $82. The one I'm using right now is like 35 and eventually I'm going to upgrade for YouTube and get a second larger ring light so I don't have to lug the other one up and down and just use this maybe as a second source of lighting. I wish I had more natural lighting, but I don't. So um, the ring light is imperative for my business personally. The third thing people ask me about all the time is the printer that I use. I use the 4x6 thermal printer made by Fomemo, that's P-H-O Memo, um, and I will put a picture of it up here because mine's all connected. I used to use the Dymo. I don't really recommend the Dymo. I've had the Fomemo label printer for over two years and they were one of the first companies to reach out to me and just send it to me and ask for a review. I gave it a try and I've loved it. I've, I've really loved it. Nobody really talks about the faux memo. I would say that what the closest item to this is that a lot of people talk about is the Rolo and I've never used the Rolo but I've heard great things about it and it's a it's a similar setup. You can interchange these 4x6 labels and I never buy the on-brand labels. I buy the 4x6 thermal labels um, on Amazon that are generic, that have really good reviews. I use it every single day when I ship, so couldn't live without that. This I use all the time. This typically lives right here um, on my back table. I set my computer up on this when I do my printing. Sometimes I feel like I need to go back to a desktop because I'm always hunched over like editing or sharing or doing listings on my laptop. And this really just helps like get my back up a little bit. It doesn't hurt my wrist so much. And this isn't a super expensive item either. The other two things that I would be lost without is my Sony ZV-1 camera, which I am filming on right now. I have it in white. I absolutely love it. I also have the Canon M50. The Canon M50 is really nice as well. It's just a little bit bulkier and the Sony is really small and portable. So I find myself reaching for that more often. I also have a MacBook Pro absolutely love my MacBook Pro. Um, I think mine is the 2019 version. Those are definite like couldn't live without items. They're definitely my favorite things. Okay, my light just went out, but what I wanted to share with you, so while the light's out, uh, this is one little tool that I think was like $7 that I would be so lost without. It's an adapter for my MacBook Pro um, because I don't have a USB port in my MacBook Pro um, and I don't think any of the new ones have it um, unless they went back to it. So I need these little adapters everywhere in my house. So this little one connects to my light and then it connects to my MacBook and then my MacBook provides the juice to turn my light back on. So there we go. So this is so that little adapter I also use for my printer. 
for the same reason. Then I have a separate adapter that has a little spot for an SD card, which is how I take the information from my Sony camera and get it onto my computer. I could not run my business without those little adapters, like best 10 bucks I could ever spend. Oh, while I have this up, this was definitely on my list to share. This is another item that people have frequently asked about. I would put this in the little bougie category because this is a it's a little bit of a splurge, but this is my laptop case and the company is called Chic Geeks. I got it for Mother's Day with a matching phone case. Shortly after that, I ended up getting a new phone, which I was so upset about because the phone case was like $50 and um, now I'm not using it. I should probably resell it considering that's what I do. They are having a holiday event right now for 25% off site-wide. I believe this case is $95. They have this gorgeous one in black on their website. They have so many beautiful laptop cases, iPad cases, phone cases. They are such high quality and I just absolutely love my laptop case. It's so unique and it kept coming up on my Instagram feed and you know once you start looking at something on Instagram it keeps feeding it to you and feeding it to you and then I followed them on Instagram and then I went to their website it was like little by little I knew I was gonna end up getting this case it does feel luxurious kind of like I was talking about my Louis Vuitton planner it's something that when I walk into my office it's really nice to sit down and just feel like my space is nice oh a couple random things Last year I shared that one of my favorite things was a Magnolia mug from Target that said morning beautiful and my husband had one that said morning handsome. They also have ones that say um, you are my sunshine but it's the same style. Well this was available this year and I have a mug problem. This is like a nice big mug. It's great for the holidays. When I buy holiday things I love to just buy something solid because this will then go into like a Valentine's Day mug. So I love the simplicity of it it does have like a little bit of uh, embossed design on there. Maybe it's snowflakes or something, but it's really cute. These cost like five or six dollars at Target and they make me so happy. Next up is my Hydro Flask. I specifically picked out this Hydro Flask because it is a slimmer version and it fits in my car cup holder. Um, I don't know about you, but my cup holder in my car is smaller. I had a different version, like a TJ Maxx version of this called Hydro Peak, which actually is amazing. I love it. Um, and I would argue that it actually keeps my ice longer than the Hydro Flask does, and these are super expensive in my opinion. But I picked this one because it was the slim fit. This also has like the sport top, um, and I like the straw. But am I really recommending this as a favorite thing? <laughs> I really love that it fits in my car and I get my water in because of it. So this is portable enough that I take it with me. I don't use plastic bottles anymore. This is a great smaller footprint of a water bottle that's easy to take in and out of the car. But I do love my Hydro Peak from TJ Maxx. I just haven't been able to find a smaller one that fits in my car. In addition to this, I wanted to share with you that I love these eight greens. This is like your fix for your daily greens. If you're not getting your greens in a more natural way, eating salads and a lot of vegetables. So I love drinking this. So what I try to do is I have coffee, then I drink one of these that's just plain water. Then once I've had that, I will do one of these eight greens. And these are just like, I think these are $13, or if you buy a three pack, they end up being like $10. It's like a little Alka-Seltzer tablet. It almost reminds me of Airborne. And you just drop it right in with ice water and they have all different flavors. They have a melon flavor that's really good. Their original flavor um, is pretty good too. And this is the blood orange, which I really love. I love the blood orange and the melon. Sometimes when I'm doing intermittent fasting, this is really nice because I'll just have a little bit of all of my coffee, one whole water, then I'll have this water with my eight greens inside. And then by, by the time I'm finished all that, it's like noon or one o'clock when I'm ready to have my first meal. This is something that has kind of helped me. I haven't been good about any sort of diet lately. When I am focused, that's my routine and I really love these eight greens. Um, I'm gonna go quickly into some planning stuff. I am gonna do planner content, so I don't wanna go off on this right now. I just wanna mention a few things that I think are really practical. One of the things that I have been loving is my Loystrom 1917 notebook. 
This was just $20 and basically I use this as a brainstorming notebook for YouTube. So prior to getting this notebook, um, I, would try to, I would try to do planning in my regular planners, but when I would brainstorm for YouTube or any content ideas, I would just end up taking up way too much space. So I would like rip things out of like my Louis Vuitton planner because like I would scratch things out. And then I would just use like this notebook, like when I do a what sold video and I'm writing down like numbers, how many items I sold, what they sold for, how much profit I made, where I bought them. It's just too much information to write on like one little section of a planner. So I would write stuff on notebook paper, which I've done this for years. And then I would just take those notes and then throw them in the trash because I'm done with them. Then I switched over to this notebook and I just think it's, it almost serves as like a YouTube journal for me. Like, so today's video, these are all of my favorite things that I've included and it's not pretty. It is really meant to just be a practical notebook. So some of you may think that $20 is a lot of money to spend on just a notebook with chicken scratch on it, and you're not wrong. But for me, it kind of comes into that whole mode of just wanting to work in something that's nice. They have a variety of colors. You can get it with a dot grid, which is what I got. You can also get lines. So it's like straight up notebook paper for you. I got the one that's more like a bullet journal. Mine has like the dots. I don't know if you can see those. You can also get just white paper. I also ended up getting like the little pen holder. This is an additional $5, and I also got their cool pen that I really love. I might talk a little bit about this in my planning video, but this is just a ballpoint pen. I just ordered a black gel refill for it because I prefer those. I don't like writing with blue pens. I like black pens. You can also customize these notebooks. My dear friend Hope, who I mentioned earlier with the Neutrogena, sent this to me as a gift last year and I've been terrified to write in it because she personalized it. Um, so I'm gonna use this as like a work this year and I'm saving this for a rainy day, but she personalized this and did Lori's Boston Found and on the back she had We're Thrifted is the New Black. And this is like one of my favorite gifts ever. Um, and I just haven't had the heart to write in it. So I'm sorry, Hope, it's just too special. It's just too pretty. So maybe next year, but these notebooks are fantastic. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at most stationary sites. Love this notebook. I also wanna talk a little bit about Tombow pens. I don't know if I mentioned these last year, but I wanted to highlight the, um, the neutral colors. I use these instead of highlighters in my notebooks. I don't like neon and bright yellow or bright pink. So I really like these. I wanna say these are like the skin tone pack or the neutral pack. Tombows are great. They are a brush tip pen. So they have your brush tip on one side and then on the other side, they have just a more like fine tip that's like a harder tip. I have so many of these. I am a crazy pen person. So these are all of my Tombos. Well, most of my Tombos that I have out. And then these are the Faber-Castell pens right here. But I actually go for my Tombos more than the Faber-Castell. The Faber-Castell is great quality as well. But the Tombos are really nice and I love that you can use them as highlighters. If you know somebody who is into planning or just into stationary supplies, you can't go wrong with Tombow. The last thing that I wanted to mention that I'm actually not using this year, but I filled it up last year, was this Passion Planner Daily Notebook. So I'm no longer an affiliate for Passion Planner. It's an application process and I didn't reapply this year, but I was an affiliate for them last year. I love the Daily Planner. I have a couple blank spots available because it's undated. If you're somebody who doesn't like a dated planner, the Dailies is great. It gives you a three month supply of pages, so 90 pages, I believe, and it breaks down your day for you, and it's very customizable, which I really like. It has a vertical planning area over here that goes from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m., which is really nice because it covers so much of the day, and then there are sections over here for like what your priorities are. You can separate it between personal and work. It has like, you know, how am I feeling today? The best thing that happened today. So a little self-awareness journal style stuff. You can do so much with this book. And I really loved the dailies. I just 
After the pandemic, I just decided I wanted to go into a different direction. But I had days where I would be super decorative and then many days that were just very plain. On the right side of this planner is just a dot grid. So sometimes I would do like listing challenges and check things off or just like little content ideas. Some days I would just this is like reflections. This was planning for a video last year. This is a great little notebook, a great little planner, um, especially for people who don't wanna commit to a dated planner for an entire year. You can pick this up when you feel like you need some extra structure in your day, and it's a nice compact size, which I love. Okay, this is turning into such a long video. I'm sorry, I just have so many things I wanna share with you. The rest of the items that I'm gonna share with you are some of my very favorite thrifted items. One of the things I wanna talk about is the Mary Mecco silk floral dress that I picked up for $20. It's one of my absolute favorite dresses that I have ever worn. It it was a score because this silk Mary Mecco dress retails for over $400 and I love it. I wore it for my anniversary. I let my friend borrow it. So that's why I don't have it. Marguerite, if you're watching, I want my dress back. You know, when you just put on an article of clothing and you just feel really good, that Mary Mecco dress is the bomb. So I will be on the hunt for more Mary Mecco silk dresses. It's absolutely one of my favorite thrifted items. I don't think I will ever get rid of it. I just talked about this recently. This is a Schitt's Creek Rose Apothecary crew neck sweatshirt. I bought this on Poshmark for $22. This is one of my more recent finds that I am loving and living in. It's kind of like a lint magnet though. So I noticed when I wore it on camera last week that all I could focus on was the lint that was on my shirt. But I love that. And it's just oversized enough that if you wear it with black leggings, it covers your bum and it just like, it's just like the perfect size for me. I love that sweatshirt and I love Schitt's Creek. And thank you to anybody who weighed in on my Instagram post where I asked you who your favorite Schitt's Creek character was. It is really a tough decision to make. I mean, I love David, obviously, but Moira, I would say, is a tied or a close second. I love Alexis, too. That cast is so great. I love Schitt's Creek. The other thing that I wanted to share that's one of my favorite things that I've ever thrifted is my Barefoot Dreams cardigan. It's a black hooded cardigan, open in the front, um, I had been on the hunt for it for a very long time. If you don't know Barefoot Dreams, it is like the softest fabric you can imagine. When you're thrifting and if you happen to be at the Goodwill outlets and you're reaching into the bins, you can always feel. I can touch it and know that it's Barefoot Dreams before I grab it. They make robes, they make blankets, they make babies clothing. I think they have a line on QVC. You can pick one up on the secondhand market for probably $50 to $60. And I absolutely love mine. I got it in a black, hooded, open cardigan. If I had gone onto their website, it was exactly what I wanted and it is in the wash, so I can't share it with you today, but I'll point one up on the screen and I will try to link one for you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're enjoying happy holidays. If you're interested in trying Vendu, remember to click the link in my description and you will save 25% off your first month of service. Let me know if you have any questions about Vendu. I love them. They had to be in my favorite things video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will be back tomorrow with a new video. I love you guys. Bye. Happy holidays.